Welcome to a review of the Miele G4990 standard fully integrated dishwasher in stainless steel. It has 14 place settings and an A double plus energy rating. Now I'm just going to get right down into the insides of the machine, show you all the trays, where the detergent is dispensed and also the salt and rinse dispensers. Okay, so I'll go on to the controls later. So this is the inside of the dishwasher. There are three different trays. The bottom tray, perfect for plates, pots and pans, baking trays, casserole dishes, anything like that. Perfect for really heavily soiled items. As you can see, this pulls out like so. Uh, it's a bit overfilled, I get that, but... <laughs> After doing a load of cooking today, it really was, it, it, we used a lot of dishes. Uh, I'll also take the time now to show you where the salt is dispensed, which is down there at the bottom. It is the circular um, contraction on the left hand side. That is where you put your dishwasher salt to help soften the water and make the detergent work better in the water. Next to that is the is Miele's three layer filter system. This basically helps to keep anything and everything from getting down into the pump, meaning it is less likely to get damaged or broken, which is a great design as it means fewer repair bills and really does make the dishwasher last longer and shows you how well this dishwasher was built. I'll uh, put the bottom rack back in and also I'll show you down here down here is the detergent dispenser and the rinse aid dispenser. The compartment here is where you put your dishwasher tablets, powder or gel. Uh, there is a pre-wash compartment just next to this here. And then right here is your rinse aid dispenser where you put your rinse aid. You fill it up to the top and it will get dispensed in the final rinse to help glasses be more shiny and help with drying performance. So I'll just shut the rinse aid back up. Now on the middle rack... This is perfect for bowls, glasses, cups, anything like that. Anything slightly more delicate. It's not going to get as an intensive wash, but it still gives really clean plates and dishes. So I'll pull that one out. As you can see, there's various assortment of items, glasses and cups, a big, uh, a large bowl, a sieve. Um, I don't know if there is anything else in there that I haven't mentioned, no. But yeah, cups, bowls, glasses, sieves, anything like that. This is also, if you have one, the perfect place to put your dishwasher freshener. That's where it should go. Right there. Okay. So, yeah. Anything more delicate or slightly more... Um, anything that you'd like to have the dishwasher handle with more care should go in the middle rack. So, uh, yeah, that's the middle rack done. So, I'll shut that. Oh no, hang on, there's something else. <laughs> the middle rack has something which I love. It has the adjustable height basket. Uh, the yellow levers on the left and right side of the basket allow you to lift the dishwasher up a level or down a level. Not just all together, but you can, uh, you can also have it where only one side of the basket is lifted up, which I find great because if you've, if you've like me, ever open your dishwasher in the morning and found water pouring on the top of your cups, lifting one side of the dishwasher up a level gets rid of this completely. Uh, all the water runs off at the end of the final rinse and leaves everything completely dry, which is great. It also means that you can if uh, have taller items in both the middle and bottom basket if you lift it up diagonally. So I'll shut that. And now onto my favourite rack, the cutlery tray. Unlike conventional dishwashers, Miele have introduced a tray specifically designed for cutlery and utensils. So taking up less space in the bottom rack and also giving cutlery a more thorough and individual clean. I'll pull this out at the top. It's here. So this is where stuff like knives, forks and spoons go. Wooden spoons, utensils, spatulas. Um, uh, really sharp bulky knives and things like that go um, this is actually a newer design of the cutlery basket they've uh, it now introduced a thing called the 3D cutlery tray which basically is the large section in the middle with the yellow um, 
covers covers on the top. This basically means that the middle of the basket can be made 3D by pushing it down, meaning larger items such as spatulas and large knives can also be put into the cutlery tray, unlike in the previous designs where they would have to go in the middle rack. Again, meaning that these get a more thorough and individual clean. Right, that's the three trays done. I'll also add that on each tray there is a spray arm. At the bottom of the uh, at the bottom of the bottom and the middle rack there is a spray arm, and at the top of the cutlery tray there is a uh, spray arm as well, giving a better clean. So now we'll go on to the controls. So the dishwasher is turned on with this button here. I'll turn it off, turn it back on, and yellow illuminations signal signal that the dishwasher is on. Uh, there are five different programs to choose from, an eco program giving you the A double plus energy rating stated on the energy card you are given with the installation of the dishwasher, the sensor wash which tells you, which uh, lets the dishwasher know how dirty the water is and can prolong or reduce the cycle length in whatever way possible to make sure that you have spotlessly clean dishes with minimal water resources used. So it may mean taking an hour off, it may, may mean taking, putting an hour on, it may mean reducing or adding rinses or pre-washes. It is a really good programme. No matter what goes in there, it always comes out clean. And so I find it a really good programme and it is typically the one I use the most. Then we also have the normal 55 programme here, which is just for standard dish dishware such as plates, bowls, cups, glasses... Some stuff that isn't too dirty and heavily soiled, normally soiled. This takes around two hours, but gives really, really, really good results as well. Then we have the intensive wash, which can take up to nearly three hours, but it's perfect for things like oven trays, baking trays, casserole dishes, particularly after a large Sunday lunch. You may need to put them on this programme. It offers a high temperature wash, two pre-washes, a main wash and a final rinse giving absolutely spotless dishes, no matter how dirty they are put in. Then we have the Sensor Wash Gentle, which is basically a delicate wash. And it um, is essentially the same as the Sensor Wash. However, um, it cares for your dishes more. Again, perfect for glasses, saucers, uh, fine cutlery, anything like that. It takes about an hour and 40 minutes, but gives really good results delicately making sure not to damage anything at all it washes at a lower temperature and has a lower uh, final rinse stage meaning that it doesn't dry as high as a high as a it doesn't dry at such a high temperature causing less damage to the dishes we also have here a rapid option which i will go for on every program this takes it on the sensor wash gentle down to 40 minutes taking off an hour on the eco it takes it down by an hour and seven minutes. On the sensor wash, it takes it down by exactly an hour. On the normal 55, it takes it down by about 30 minutes. And on the intensive wash, it takes it down by over an hour again, meaning you can get still spotlessly clean dishes, but in a shorter period of time. However, this does mean that you will use more energy, but it's a small price to pay if you want your dishes doing quickly. We also then have a time delay function here where you can delay the start of the program on the dishwasher by up to 24 hours by pressing this button. It goes up in half an hour time increments until it gets to 10 hours and then it goes up in hour increments until it gets to 24 hours. I so far haven't used this program as I don't have economy 7 but for someone who does this would be a great feature as it would lower the energy costs as it could be ran during the night. Then we have three illuminations here, one for the inlet and drain, suggesting that there might be a fault with one of them or it's blocked. All you have to do is check the filter or the inlet on the dishwasher and that should solve that issue. We have the rinse aid illumination telling you when to refill the rinse aid dispenser and the salt dispenser uh, illumination telling you when you need to refill the salt. And I'm going to put a wash on, uh, I'm going to do the sensor wash gentle, this is a heavily soiled load. However, uh, the pots in there do have wooden handles, so I want to try that out because I've never washed wooden handle things in the dishwasher, so I want to give that a go. 
So I'm going to put the dishwasher door down. I'm going to get the dishwasher tablet here. Pop it in the main wash dispenser and shut the door, uh, drawer. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to reset it. I'm going to turn it back on. And I'm going to select the sensor wash gentle. Deselect the quicker wash function. This should take about an hour and 40 minutes. However, because it's the sensor wash version of this, it could actually take up to three hours. It may only take an hour, depending on how dirty it thinks the water is. So all I'm going to do now is shut the door. And yeah, that is it running. It is almost silent during the main wash. We had visitors around last night and they didn't even know it was running until I opened it to put in an extra glass. It really is a fantastic dishwasher and anyone looking into buying a new one should really have a look at this. I really hope this review helps you in making a decision on buying a new dishwasher and I have to thank AO.com for letting us test this dishwasher out. Uh, the delivery was perfect as always. It came in exactly... It came at exactly the time it said it would. The delivery men were fantastic. They cleared up the mess that was made and they left promptly. So thanks AO for letting us test this appliance and hopefully it should be with us for a long time to come. Thank you. Bye.